this week on What Do You Got? IT people don't know half as much as they think they do. Shots fired. Stay tuned. You're listening to Bro Down Podcast all fucking day. Oh, yeah. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Bro Down Podcast. I'm Andy Smith. Now I'm Tim Fulton. This is What Do You Got? What Do You Got? What Do You Got is when one of us brings a little topic to the table and we just kind of bullshit about it for a little bit. Tim, it's your turn. What do you got? IT people know nothing. That's a that's a statement. All right, that might be a little bit of an exaggeration, but IT people don't know half as much as they think they do. And I yeah. can tell you what the problem is, and I can tell you what the other problem is. Tell me the problems, Tim. All right, problem number one is that IT people work all day long with people who don't know how to use the computer, and they do. So they are the problem solvers. Yeah. So over time, and I'm not blaming IT people, I feel like that this is just like a human nature thing. I feel, becomes, like, I feel like you're going to personalize the shit out of this one. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'm like revved up over I things that have happened recently. They get this ego boost where I know what's right. I, of course I know what's right because I'm the one that's right. Yeah. You're coming to me, peasant. So obey my will. Yeah. We have this ongoing story at the company I work for. It's a small accounting firm for the people who don't know out there. We're switching uh, some computer software from one thing to another thing. It's a fancy way to lock folders so certain people can't get into them, basically. Yeah. That's that's the gist of it. So a security measure. It's a security measure. It has a whole bunch of bells and whistles, but no one cares about the bells and whistles. So it has been an absolute nightmare. Oh. Absolute nightmare. Working with these guys to transfer from our old software oh okay okay to our new software yeah they're supposed to move data over and they're like oh yeah they offer it as a service not just like vague like yeah we can handle it like down to the we know what that program is and we will take that program and move it over to this program for the people out there who don't know what i'm talking about it's like saying you have a microsoft word file that's fine. We'll change it to Microsoft Excel for you. We know how to do that automatically. You have to convert it. You have to convert it. Yeah. And they promise you to do that. And they didn't do it. And they didn't do it. That's like I, a moving company. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got room for the grand piano. And then they try to load it on the back of a van. Yes. Yes. So it was the middle of December that we started this. Oh, Middle of December, and the first time they tried, they failed. It did. It sh- flat out didn't work. So then I'll, they were like, we know what the problem is. We're going to get on the solution, and we're going to give you a call back in like a week or so. That sounds like bullshit. And you know me. I'm a non-aggressive type. I wanted someone else to handle it. So I'm like, you do you. Deal with it. That, that, in, that in IT terms is we don't know what the fuck we did wrong. We want to get off the phone. And we, we okay. don't – we need to – Figure it out before you ask any more questions. Yeah. So, so you don't fire us or sue us. And I think they never found the solution because they just started ignoring me. It was a month and a half. I sent emails, phone calls. I reached out directly. They have a support chat. I was on the line with a support chat guy and straight up was talking to him. I asked a question and he just stopped responding. And an hour and a half later, he said, we have a new support channel. Go here. Dude, uh, it's like AIM. Like, I'm talking to you live. It's the classic roundabout, man. It's, it's oh, no, you got to go down to Steve's auto body shop. He's the guy that did the work. I didn't mess up your engine. You got to go down there and talk to Steve. You get it's down the, there, there's no Steve. It's the friggin' workaround, dude. Yeah. And, like, it had been going on for a, a month and a half. So, like, I'm just sitting there, like, and they're completely ignoring me. And, like, I just, like, feel the heat in my body rising every time. It and, like, the, the bar. Bo- it is this. Got to give them credit, though, for sticking with the game plan because there's nothing that you can do. There's nothing that I can do because we already sunk thousands of dollars into this program. It's not a cheap thing. Yeah. And we spent all this time working with it already. We ain't backtracking in the middle of tax season. So, finally, I came to the realization I can do this myself. I know how to do this. I'll do it myself. I just need them to Bold do... Bold move, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. I just need them to do one small thing. Our old program is encrypted. We have two databases for it. I okay. need them to decrypt the databases, and then I can do the rest myself. The rest myself. I gave 
And it wasn't even them I gave a phone call to. I gave a phone call to our old company saying, this is what I need you to do. Decrypt your databases for us. So you can have access to them. So I can have access to them. And there were, the woman on the phone was very nice. She's like, yes, I can do that. I can't do it. I don't know how to. We have a guy specifically for that. He'll call you back later this week and we'll get it done. Perfect. He managed to call back three hours later while I wasn't there. Uh, and he talked to one of the girls on the phone uh, and he was like, oh, I know exactly what he needs. Let me take control of your computer. I know exactly what to do. And he did it correct, except he missed a database. We have two. I explicitly told them two. So this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, you did it correct, except you didn't. You didn't wait. You were too impatient. And you're wrong. You're not half as smart as you think you are. And long story short, it still didn't work. It was all sorts of fucked up when it got moved over. So it's not correct. Uh, the bosses are freaking out. And so, that's where we stand. So let's let's break this down uh, to a uh, – let's just go to a deep dive here. Let's, let's try to break down psychologically why IT people are such uh, – you know, who's even whatsies when it comes to that, knowing everything. I actually have thought about this in the past because if you ever work with somebody that knows nothing about technology, yeah, you understand how frustrating it is to on that level where you're trying to teach somebody in their 70s how to use a smartphone when the last phone they used had a, was a rotary. Yeah, yeah. And you're just like, come on, dude, like basic stuff. But imagine doing that every day. Imagine having to explain things. Basically, they're 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 doing the. Is it plugged in? Plug yes. it in. Plug it in. Like All they're doing day mostly that. Long. So, if that's your world, you're used to having this. Like I'm smarter than most everyone I've talked to. So when you run into somebody who's of equal or greater value mentally, you get caught with your guard down. They throw that jab out, and you're not ready for it. So you're like, oh. And then you immediately go in defensive mode like, I, I got it. I can handle this. There's nothing I can't handle because it's an actual problem now. It's not just, is it plugged in? And uh, then you basically have to tell the person, we're going to call you back. And then you just don't for four weeks. <laughs> and you hope the problem resolves itself somehow. Which it did because I figured it out, kind of, sort of. But think about the genius in that. I'm, 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 I'm talking of this as, a, as an outsider with no skin in the game. Yeah, that's fair. You paid him for a service. You paid them specifically because they could do this additional service. They tried. They failed. They said, well, we we tried to do it. And then you were like, we'll fix it. And they were like, we'll get right on that, sir. And then a month went by. We'll get right on that. And then you fixed it. Did they refund you? Of course not. Because it's the they additional made out. service. They that, made out. Yeah. If you you want to know what the icing on the cake is? What? This is an IT related kind of, but we have like, I almost called her a wellness rep. We have like a rep there who's supposed to make like our life easy. So I reached out to her one, one week into this problem. I reached out to her and I was like, what's going on? She's like, I'm going to get on top of this for y'all. Make sure it's handled as soon as possible. I know the date, December 14th. I didn't hear back from anyone. A week goes by. It's now December 21st. I emailed her again. I'm like, I'm like, Kayla, what's going on? Like, when is this happening? And I got an automated response saying, hi, everyone. Sorry, but I no longer work for this company as of December 15th. It was the next day. Oh. The next she, day. She mic dropped you. She mic dropped me. Dude, she was just drilling holes in wood. And get, we're supposed to have a person. That's like a thing. That's another thing that they offer. They never told us she quit. We still don't. They still never informed us. And we still don't have a replacement. The only reason we know is because I reached out to her and got an automated thing back. That is a disgruntled employee, sir. That is somebody who did not like that company no. and was like, I'm just going to set up all these accounts and tell them I'm going to take care of it. And then just then think about all problem. those times where you treated me bad and then remember them when everyone calls and they're like, well, so-and-so said that I had, I had this all taken care of. And they're like, so-and-so doesn't work here anymore. <laughs> this is the fifth one this week. Yeah. Yeah, she yeah. got you. Yeah, yeah. She got you. And that that's not a slight against you guys. That's her hating her old company. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. 100%. 100%. agree. Yeah, 100%. It's and I also want to say that I've worked – almost every place I've worked at has not been, like, computer heavy with a, as terms of, like, their primary function. But they rely heavily on computers. Yeah. 
and there's always an IT guy, but he never started out an IT guy. That's you. I, this is why I'm bringing it up. There's always a guy that just somehow became an IT guy because there was a problem with a computer once and somebody was like, I, I don't know how to bring up my file. I didn't save it. And then they were like, oh, just go to recent files. And they're like, you're a wizard, Harry. That, and they make you the IT guy. That is exactly what happened in my firm. So short story, uh, my father needed help one tax season. Guy quit on him. So I came on part-time to an accounting firm with no accounting background. And he's like, all you need to do is X, Y, Z. It was super simple stuff. And the median age for the employees there was probably 50. Okay. So like – so same, you're the young hotshot. I'm the young hotshot. So same exact story. Someone's computer broke one day, and I was like, oh, you just have to click this, that, that. Yeah. And now people go to me with their computer questions, and it steamrolls. And the other day, I was replacing a battery on the server, and I was like – I was in the server doing something. I'm just like, what the fuck is happening? My degree's in math. <laughs> I should not be allowed on a server. How I don't we, know what I'm doing. How did we get here? How did we get here? I'm in full control of like the uh, the phone systems. Yeah. Like, it has just gotten ridiculously out You're of. You're gaining power to take over your company. It's I very am. simple. I am. Uh, I could literally shut them down from the outside. It's funny inside because Whatever. even people that aren't in, start out in IT, they get like that. So don't go to the dark side because those guys that I'm talking about. They didn't start off in IT. They're, they're, it couldn't be further from their actual job description, but you'll call them up and be like, hey, uh, I sent this report in, and uh, I didn't mean to because the program sucks. And they're just like, ah, you got you to gotta be more careful, man. Like, stuff's not easy to fix. And you're just like, yes, it is. I've seen you do it before. You're just pretending because you don't want to do your real job. So you're <laughs> pretending that this one's really hard. I had – it's. So speaking as a millennial who has like a basic understanding of how computers work, we all know how we fix things. We press buttons until something works, right? Um, kind of. That's we have we have a direction, a correct direction, but we hit buttons until they work. If you don't know what you're doing, yeah. All right. Well, fuck you. <laughs> no. I worked in IT for like three days. Okay, so I I know what I'm talking about. He you has don't. the ego. You don't. Okay. <laughs> If you're if you're over a, a certain age, yes, you just click buttons. Your voice sounds familiar. Were you the guy I was talking to on the phone who never called me back? Maybe. <laughs> no, but so I'm not saying like you're just like, uh, is the X going to work? Is the Y going to work? Is the Z going to work? No, I'm out of options, dude. No, but like like you'll go into settings and you'll be like, is it this setting? No. Is it that setting? No. Uh, oh, let's, that, try, let's try X, Y, Z. So you're talking about if you kind of know what you're doing yes. anyway yes what i'm saying is like when you go to help someone on a computer like something that somebody who's semi-familiar with technology can fix and you're like all right so what's the problem and the person's just like i don't know i just i just click yes to everything and you're like why and they're like i don't know it's just not working it's it's broken it's a piece of shit and you're like no it's not you didn't you, you sh why did why are you clicking things that you don't know what they do and they're like well you know it should work you're just like <laughs> it does okay like that's like me breaking down on the side of the highway with a car and i don't know what's wrong with it so i just start taking things out of the engine yeah and you're like i don't know what happened you're like well now i, I can't figure it out because there's shit missing and you don't know what you took out you don't know anything about the car how frustrating would that make you person who used to work on your car in high school and then they're like oh you're like, yeah, yeah, you fucked up. You fucked up. You fucked up. I had this one employee, coworker, I should say. I fixed a printer. One of those, like, big industrial printers that, like, shoots out a started. thousand. Hmm? Don't get me started on those. <laughs> so I fixed the printer, and she was like, she was like, thanks for fixing that, but next time you do this, can you, like, write down what you do? Because I don't think it's fair that you know what to do, and the rest of us just have to wait for you. That lady can go 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 spit. I'll never forget that. And go I was just like, rigs. I was like, I don't want to say names, but I was like, yeah, don't say the names. You already did that once on this podcast. We're going to go back, bleep it out. Uh, Martha. I don't, I don't work with a Martha. Martha. I just hit buttons, Martha. Educated buttons, but I just hit buttons until they work. Do you want me to write down hit buttons until they work? Like, we don't like Martha. We don't like Martha. Um, yeah, I don't like those big industrial printers. I actually threw one down a flight of stairs with a landing on it once. Um, 
Not because it was that one has actually not because I used it and it was broken. It was because I was asked to do it uh, specifically as a punishment to move it down two flights of stairs. And I was like, it, they're basically trying to like give me a dig. And I was like, you did the wrong person. Cause you're, you're not going to watch me. <laughs> Things slip all the time, guys. Oops. It's a $10,000. Well, it was a $10,000 one. Um, yeah, we have, we have two of those. I don't know what it, we're running on tangents. Yeah, we now, are. But I, I just, know. I had, I, I just, I don't like those big printers. I don't either. I don't know what it is about printers that they've never gotten better. The, we have two big industrial printers. They both cost like seven grand. Yeah. And they suck. There's one. They suck. I've we had one. $7,000 on these fuckers. I've had one thing in my whole career of like working at places, one of them that worked good and they took it away from me. And then this is going back years. So they gave me another one. It was repaired seven times. It was drop kicked four times. Oh, well, I might have something to do. <laughs> Didn't break though. So, it it's it's it won't fix, but it won't break. So, I just have the office space theme going in my head. I haven't haven't hasn't gotten there to ever to that point. Yeah, but yeah, if I ever hit the lottery, <laughs> just so you can, I'll go back and I'll get that printer. Fair, fair. Yeah. All right, guys. This let is us know what way you, too long. Yeah, let us know what was the topic. What do you think about IT people in the comments down below? I don't even know how to phrase that question. Just give us a story or something like that. Don't forget to like and subscribe at the little bell notification so you can get all of our videos. Don't forget to go to BroDownPro.com. We're constantly coming out with new bro stuff, and we'll catch you guys next time. Yeah, Tim hates IT people. <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> You're listening to Bro Down podcast all fucking day.